In this lesson, we'll explore another major concept of object-oriented programming in Python, polymorphism. In programming, it allows different classes to use the same method name, but perform actions that are unique to each class. Let's look at a fun example inspired by gospel music. We begin by creating a base class called performer. It defines a method named perform, but doesn't implement it. Instead, it raises an error, telling us to define it in the subclasses. This implies that any class that inherits from performer must have its own version of the perform method. Now, let's meet our performers. First, we have the singer class. Inside it, we define the perform method to say that the singer sings a worship song. Next comes the drummer class. Its perform method says the drummer plays the drums. And finally, we have the dancer class, where perform returns the phrase, the dancer performs a praise dance. All three classes inherit from the same parent, yet each one performs differently. We then create a list of performer objects, the singer Nathaniel Bassi, the drummer Emmanuel, and the dancer Grace. Using a simple for loop, we call the same method, perform, on each object. Even though the method name is identical, Python automatically knows which version to run based on the object calling it. That's the magic of polymorphism. One interface, many behaviors. In real world applications, this allows us to write flexible, extensible, and cleaner code without rewriting logic for each case. So remember, whether you're coding or composing, great harmony comes from different voices working through the same structure. You're listening to Mustard Mentors inspiring creativity through code and music.